we're taping the largest foot. So we have the victim approach and let's put this sock on, on his foot and we'll come up above this mark that we made. Of course you're over there and the mark is over here. So this is the top of the boot. We want to go a little bit above this because the sock is going to drop down. Now stand down, hear it? Pull the sock up again and snug it on the foot and cut it about two inches longer than the foot with the tape scissors. Now lift the toe and we'll tuck this sock underneath like this. That way it won't stick to his toes when you tape it. Bring this foot up, Garrett. Now Garrett is going to stand with weight equal on both feet, stand looking forward, hips square to the the uh, axis of the, the feet, and we're going to take the longest piece first and put that on the bottom of this foot. So you're going to need to lift your foot and put it directly under the tape. Now step down. Okay. Now at this point, this is the most important piece. We're going to tear it so that each piece of tape fits the contour of his foot. So to do that, we lift the tape around the foot. If you pull it, it's going to pull back on the, on the shape of his foot. So what we want to do is marry that tape to his foot this way. In back, tear your tape twice. The first one comes straight up the back. The second piece goes over to the inside. Third piece goes to the opposite side. Always push your tape down. You notice I've pulled enough tape here and ripped it off so that it's forming, I can form the cast with a dozen pieces or so. Next piece, I pull down over his heel this way and this seals up the back tape pieces that have come up. Next piece goes diagonally at the heel Raise your heel. Now step down. Okay, this goes around a contour, so I'm going to tear this in half and bring it up along the foot. The inside piece comes up without tearing. Next piece goes in the opposite direction. Raise your heel, and we'll come at 45 on that part of the heel. Now go down, weight equal on both feet, don't look down, and this follows the contour. We'll pull it around, and press it down against the foot. Next piece goes a little bit ahead of that, so raise your heel, okay, down. And that comes straight up in the ankle, this way. One more piece behind the heel. I'll come up at 45 degrees and wrap it around his ankle this way. Push it down. <coughs> Next piece will be 45 at the heel coming up his ankle. If you make a mistake, tear the tape off and leave the rest on. And then if you have the rest, the part, other part of it, you can put it right on the top of the foot. So if you mess up, don't, don't it doesn't matter very much. Next piece goes around the ankle this way. And you notice that this has to change in the contour so I'm going to tear, tear the tape and push it down and make sure all the tape is down flat. Check your mark again. We're just about at the top of the boot. What I do is up the ankle and I'll, I'll fold this over and make that the top of the boot here. That's right at the six inch mark. It's a little bit above. Now the tape I put around is going to overlap a little bit.
put another piece around the ankle this way. And that closes off the back of the foot. I leave the front part of the foot open because that uh, process is a little harder to stand and lift your foot up. So I do this last. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to pull some more tape, but I'll use my last two pieces here. And Garrett's going to raise the front of his foot, and I'll slide this under where the next tape goes. Again, pull it up. If it goes around a contour, split the tape. The reason to split it also is so that it forms a flat cast all the way around. One more piece of tape. And then I'll pull this over the top of the foot here. Notice we're overlapping about half, half and half. OK, I'm going to pull some more tape, probably about eight more pieces. Should I stop? Yeah.